Welcome to my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle Series. Today we're showcasing a unique Choice Band Zeb Striker set that's all about raw speed and power. Zeb Striker might not be a common pick, but with the Choice Band boosting its attacks, it can really surprise some opponents and break through some walls. If you're excited to see Zeb Striker in action, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more fun team showcases and battles. Let's see if this electric zebra can make a real impact. Okay, Dr. Banana Man had the same idea with the Zeb Striker. Love to see it. Uh, they've also got a little executor, Screamtail, Azelf, Goldengo, and a Rillaboom. Nice stuff. I like that team. That's a really cool team. Um, so I'm leaning towards either a Cypher or a Zeb Striker lead. Um, I feel like they lead with Rillaboom, just like a thought. Or Azelf. Um, Cypher could be good in both those parts, although Azelf can get fire coverage, so it might be not the best, um, best idea to do that. So what I might lead is I might lead off with Hardcore and just go with the uh, Volcanion lead, because it actually does pretty well here. So I'm going to go with the Volcanion lead just to put some pr immediate pressure on the team and then we'll just kind of go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Dr. Banana Man. So they're going to lead off with Screamtail. A good lead, nice and shiny. We lead off with our Volcanion. Um, so that is a giant Screamtail as well. That's a very big Screamtail. Um, I want to go straight for a Sludge Wave. I'm just going to go for it and see how much damage we do here. Should be a 2 hit KO from a Volcanion, right? Nearly. Very nearly. They go for a light screen. They're probably going to go for a reflect the next turn. So what we'll do here is we'll switch out in something more accustomed to finishing this thing off. And that's going to have to be, I would say, um, I have a great, a great tusk or, hmm, this is a tough one. Because they've got the light screen up. They're going to get a reflect up the next turn. I'm going to go into Cypher. I think Cypher can handle this no problem. Cypher's already doing too much for this game. Other than being a reliable switch into Rillaboom. And then you turn on them. So we'll go Cypher now. They do withdraw Screamtail. So they didn't get Reflect up, which is great. Um, very good for us. So they go into Goldengo, which is interesting. And now we'll see if this thing's got an Air Balloon or not. Um, they don't have an Air Balloon, so they could be Scarfed. Um, but I'm going to risk it anyway and go for a U-turn. We do. There we go. They're not Scarfed, which is good to know. We get out of there on the Goldengo. And we're probably going to get hit in the face by either a Thunderbolt, a Power Gem, or a make it rain which means we're gonna have to switch out so i'm gonna lead i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna go into um zeb striker i want to do so yeah zeb striker can come in nice and shiny of course with those inverted colors i think it looks amazing and um, they go for a make it rain which we do resist which is still gonna do half yep there we go it's still gonna do half well over half and um, but they do get a drop which is nice now they probably know we have high horsepower or overheat one of the two so they more than likely go into Egg Zeg. I'm going to go for a high horsepower anyway. They do withdraw the Gold Engo. What are they going to go into though? They go into the Zeb Striker. Ah, they expected the Electric type move. Nice. They're shiny as well. Nice. High horsepower comes through. That's going to take out their Zeb Striker in one clean hit. Zeb Striker coming through. My Zeb Striker, of course, uh, being clutched there. So down goes their Zeb Striker, which is fantastic. And now they're going to go into Rillaboom, which is great for them. Now, we do have the Sap Sipper ability, so we can take a Grassy Glide from them. But we're not in the position to actually want to do that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into Articuno. Articuno can definitely take on this uh, Rillaboom, no problem. So we'll go Articuno now. Arc Tracks. Nice and shiny. The Black Ice Articuno has come to slay. Exert some pressure, not that it matters too much. And they go for a U-turn, which is going to bounce right off us. That, that, that damage tells me they may be banded, but it could be. I could be wrong. But they more than likely are, because Rillaboom is usually banded, right? All right, Azelf comes in. That's an interesting choice. So Azelf being in means Stealth Rocks are likely going up right now. Um, in which case, oh, they might go for a Thunderbolt or a Fire-type fire, a fire type move. Um, I am going to go into Sloking here. And the reason being is because the Snow from Chili Reception does benefit the Articuno before it Terrors. Boosting our physical defense. So I think this is a decent opportunity for us to get Sloking in. They do go for a Flamethrower, which would have definitely hurt Articuno a bit. Um, but it's not going to hurt us too much. They are Life Orb, which is good to know. Very good to know. Now, I'm going to go for a Chili. They don't have a Dark type. I'm going to go for a Chili anyway. So they withdraw a Zelf, which is great for us. It means we get a free switch in whatever they bring in. And they're going to go back into Goldengo, which is great. So Goldengo comes in. We tell the Shinley bad joke, we get a snow up, which is great. Now the real question is, do we come in with the Articuno and go hard? But the light screen is still up, so we need to be careful with what we do with light screen. So, what's our best Pokemon to go into here? I'd say Zeb Striker again, personally. 
So I am going to give Zip Striker. I think Zip Striker is the best, best Pokemon we can go into, really. It's banded, it, it outspeeds. And we know outspeeds. We're going to get some restoration onto our health as well, which is nice from the Gohot Grassy Terrain. Even if they, they do too. Um, now, do we go for a Vol Switch expecting a uh, Terra Flying here? They might go for a high horsepower. Uh, they might expect the high, sport, high horsepower now. I go for a Terra that can withstand it, so I might go for a Vol Switch. I think I will go for a Volt Switch. Um, they don't Terra, which is interesting. We get a nice little bit of chip with Volt Switch. And then we're going to go back. Um, so what, what have we got that can take and make it rain right now? Probably going to be Volcanion, right? It's going to have to be Volcanion. So we'll get Volcanion in. Like so. And they go for a Shadow Ball, which is going to definitely sting a little bit. It should do about half. Yeah, about half. Um, but after Crusty Terrain, it's not half, so we don't get too shot, which is nice. However, oh, the light screen has just wore off, which is great. So now, now, we just fire off a Fire Blast, and we should KO this Goldengo. They withdraw the Goldengo. What are they going to go into to take a Fire Blast, though? We don't really have a lot. Scream Tail? I think that's two shot if we can hit. I think that's two shot. Yep, Fire Blast comes through. Yeah, it's two shot. Nice. Volcanion is actually a, re a real powerhouse considering it's low tier. Um, but Fire Blast should definitely 2 KO here, provided we can hit it. So let's go for it and find out. We do hit the second Fire Blast, which is fantastic. Screen Tail goes down. We are looking pretty good right now. So now that the Screen Tail's gone, Articuno actually does really well here. Right, Azelf comes in. That is probably their best Pokemon to deal with this. Um, I, I want to go, I want to go Glorian Slow King. So I'm going to go Slow King once again. So we'll withdraw Volcanion. And we're going to Drip Queen. Like so. There we go. Drip Queen comes in. They do Terror. What type are they going to Terror into? Something to resist fire. It's got to be. Which is fine by me. Yeah, fire. Fire makes sense. If they're going to be resistant to fire, it's fire. Fire can't do much against fire, basically. Um, let's see how this plays out. So they go for a mystical power. Which is going to boost their special attack, right? It does. However, we do have the volcano on the back with the steam eruption, so I'm not too worried about this. So the snow is going to stop, of course. Um, I want to go for a thunder wave. I'm going to go for a thunder wave here. They go for a size shock. Ooh, that's going to sting. Takes us out, in fact. Okay. So they have dual psychic coverage. That's awesome. Right, now we have to go into Volcanion again. We have to go into Volcanion again. Volcanion is putting the pressure on this game. Fast for sure. Volcanion is putting the pressure on. We go for a steam eruption every single time here. They withdraw because they know we're scarfed, but whatever they go into is going to still take some chip. Executor is four times resistant to be fair, so it probably will take it pretty well. Nice and shiny as well. They get the frisk, they know a choice scarf now. Probably already figured that out. Steam eruption comes through. And it still does a nice chunk of damage to them, which is great. A critical hit as well. That's awesome. And a burn. Crit burn. Crit burn. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So, with the executor on the field, this thing could do some stuff. Now, they're usually special, but we don't want to assume that. If we assume they're going to go for a grass type move, however, we should go into Articuno. So, let's go Articuno now. Like so. Arctrax comes in. Boom. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. We exert some pressure. And they go for a Draco, which is going to still sting, but won't KO us. Yeah, it won't KO us, which is fine. Now, they can't Terra. They have to go into... Oh, they're a Jack Pack. Oh, a Jack Pack. I love the Jack Pack strats. I love a Jack Pack strats. That's awesome. Right, his elf comes in. Good play. Good play, because that's definitely going to take out my Articuno now. I'm still going to bring Articuno in because I know... Let's go into uh, Volcano once again. I'm still going to bring Articuno back in later for the uh, Executor, potentially. Because we do outspeed and we do KO. Especially now they can't Terra. So let's let's see what we're going to do here. They go for a size Shock on the Volcano switch in. That's fair enough. Doesn't do the job, but nearly does it, which is awesome. Now... I want to go for a Steam Eruption. I do want to go for a Steam Eruption. They're going to withdraw and go into the uh, Executor again, but it's still Chip at the end of the day. There's the Executor coming in. Like so. 
Again, chip is chip on this thing. So we they're gonna frisk us again. It's fine. We go for a steam eruption. Boom. Nice bit of damage. Nothing too drastic. Takes them down to about half after the burn. Now we just have to switch out. So what are we going to? I'm leaning towards... Because this thing still does so much work. So much work Volcanion does. But you don't. Let's go Zip Striker. And hope they go for a Grass type move instead. Because then we can get a Sap Sipper boost, which would be clutch. So we're going to Wild. Like so. They go for a Giga Drain, which is great. We're going to get our Sap Sipper. Boosting our attack. The only thing I can see myself needing Terra for right now is Terra Blasting here. Because they might go into... Yeah, I think we just Terra Blast. I, I say we Terra Blast. So we're going to Terra Stalize real quick. Like so. Boom. And Zip Strike is looking really good with the Ice Tower now. Those colors with the Ice Terra match really well. They match really well. Um, so we go for a Terra Blast. It's going to definitely take out the Alolan Executor at least. Boom. If we're going to Terra, we may as well Terra there, right? So Executor goes down. Which is awesome. They kind of have to go to Goldengo here. Yeah, Goldengo comes in. That's fine. Zip Striker can still be useful here. Being immune to the... Um, yeah, I think I think we can still use you. So I might just sack off Cypher here. Cypher's not doing anything this game. So I'm going to sack off Cypher. And if we do live for whatever reason, then we can just go for a dual wing beat and just get some damage off at least. So Cypher comes in, Red Riot Cypher. They go for a Shadow Ball, which is definitely not going to KO us unless it's Specs. Nah, they're not Specs. That would, no, it might not be KO'd anyway, but um, we go for a dual wing beat here because why not? Boom. Just get a bit of chip off on the gold then go. Boom. Lovely job. Hit two times. They go for another Shadow Ball. That's going to KO us, unfortunately. So, Cypher goes down, but it went down trying to fight, at least. So, Cypher goes down. Let's see what we can do here. I'm, I'm thinking more Volcanion for Fire Blast, pretty much. So, I am going to go into Volcanion for a Fire Blast, because why not? Um, let's try and hit it. If we miss the Fire Blast, so be it. It is what it is. So, let's go for the Fire Blast right now. Fire Blast comes through. We do connect, which is nice. Boom. Down goes the Goldengo. Awesome. Goldengo going down. Volcanion being the MVP, which is fantastic. Azelf comes through. Like so. Now, again, we can still use Volcanion with Steam Eruptions. So I think I'm going to sack something off here. I'm going to go. I'm sacking off Great Tusk. Screw it. We're sacking off Great Tusk. Sacking off Great Tusk. Tuscany comes in. Looking amazing. Just coming in to die, though, at this point. They go for a Mystical Power. That should take us out. It does. And it gives them a special attack boost at the same time. Now, I am fairly confident that we can Supercell Slam this thing in the face. With Zip Striker. Fairly confident. Not 100% confident. Yeah, because if we go into Volcanion, they just bring Rillaboom in. And then they get aggressive terrain up. So, let's uh, see what Zip Striker can do here. Let's see what it can do. Let's see what it can do. So we go for a Supercell Slam here all the time. There we go. Take out the Azelf. Boom. They can't risk going into the Rillaboom because we could have Terra Blasted there. As Azelf goes down, which is fantastic. Zip Striker and Volcanion both winning the game. Or oh, we're not won yet because the Rillaboom still exists. Now Rillaboom comes in now. I think Zip Striker can finish this game off. I think Zip Striker can finish this game off, no problem. Um, so we sack off Articuno here. We sack off Articuno. We bring back in the Zeb Striker and we go for a Terra Blast. I think that's the way to go. So Arctrex comes in. There we go. We get the pressure on. They go for a knockoff. That's fine. That's going to do no damage. Well, not no damage. It does all the damage. All the damage we have left. <laughs> and they knock off our Heavy Dewy Boots, which is fine. Uh, now we go into Zip Striker and we Terra Blast because they can't they can't Grassy Glide us. They can't Grassy Glide us because of Sap Sipper, so we're looking really good right now. We are looking really good right now. Let's go for that Terra Blast real quick. Terra Blast comes through. And boom. There goes the Rillaboom. Down it goes, and that is gonna be the game. So GG 
Dr. Banana Man, that was a pretty fun one. I did enjoy that. Um, Zip Striker came through in the end there. And so did Volcano throughout the match. That's pretty good stuff. Okay, Dyer747 has brought a pretty threatening team with the Weavile, the Hisui and Arcanine, Glimora, Great Tusk, Roaring Moon, and Gliscor. Awesome stuff. So, um, they probably lead off with Arcanine or Glimora. So, I might just lead off with Zeb Striker, just out of speed and all that. Um, if they lead off with Arcanine, we obviously switch out into Great Tusk because we want to take a hit because they could be scarfed. It's not uncommon. Um, I'm leaning towards the Cypher of Zeb Striker lead, to be honest with you. I think I'll go with Zeb Striker. I think that's a good one. And then we'll just kind of go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Dyer. So they're going to lead off with Ice, which is the Weavile. As I led off with my Zeb Striker. Now, I know we obviously out, we don't get out, we don't, we don't outspeed here. There's no doubt in my mind that we don't outspeed here. So I can't go for a Supercell Slab because it's very likely they go into the Glide Score here. So I'm going to go for a Volt Switch just to say false Switch. They go for a Fake Out, and that's going to be boosted by Normal Gem. Interesting. So. Uh, fake out comes through and that's going to do a decent bit of chip damage to us now now that we've taken a fake out i'm not confident we can take a ice punch or a knockoff so what i'm going to do here instead is if i'm assuming they're going to go for a knockoff i'm going to go into my great tusk i think that's definitely a good option so we withdraw zeb striker no problems there and we go into our great tusk who is defensive so we should be able to take any hit from this weavile no problem scare out of a close combat which we don't even have they actually go for a triple axel which is unfortunately going to two shot us right it is going to two-shot us, yeah. And the fact that they didn't get any Rocky Helmet chip. Oh, no, wait, we're leftovers, that's why. Um, right, so, we can't take another Triple Axle. However, they might not go for a Triple Axle. That's that's the possibility, so. Um, I'm going to go in. Well, they probably do go for a Triple Axle. I'm going to go into Volcanion now. Um, just to resist the Triple Axle, because we know that's coming. So, we're going to Volcanion. They may also switch themselves. Well, this Volcano and his Choice Scarf, so we can definitely outspeed and KO the Weavile. So they do go for a Triple Axle, which is going to do diddly squat to our Volcanion. As it only hits two times anyway, which is great. So now, looking at our team, I don't see any problem with going for a Steam Eruption or a Fire Blast yet. I am going to go for a Fire Blast, to be honest with you. Um, they do withdraw the Weavile, which is great. They're going to go into what, though? Arcanine? Cross. Who's Cross? Glimora. That's fine. We get a bit of chip damage. We break potential Sash, all that stuff. Fire Blast comes through. It's going to do a... Ooh, about a third of its HP. That's not too bad. Um, now, this thing is a threat. They probably go for either a Power Gem or a Stealth Rock here. Um, I'm leaning towards Glimora, uh, Zeb Striker. So I'm going to go with Zeb Striker now. Because Zeb Striker ain't doing much for us this game anyway. Looking at that team. We could catch the Gliscor off guard with a Terror Last Ice, but that's about it. So Zeb Striker comes in. They do go for a Stealth Rock as predicted, which is great. Now we can go for a High Horsepower, which is definitely what I'm going to do. Um, I'm hoping that they uh, don't go into Glide Score here. So let's go for High Horsepower now. High Horsepower comes through. It's definitely going to KO the Glimora. Zip Striker gets a KO, which is awesome. And Glimora does go down, which is fantastic. So let's see how this plays out. So Glimora goes down. What are they going to bring in? Scorpio comes in, which is going to be the Glide Score, right? Yeah, Glide Score comes in. That's a great play. Great switch. We definitely switch out ourselves. Um, I'm, I'm leaning towards... I think they go straight for an Earthquake. So I kind of want to go into my Great Tusk and Rapid Spin those Stealth Rocks away. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Great Tusk. So we'll withdraw Zeb Striker now. And we'll go into Great Tusk, which is going to be great. <laughs> great. There we go. Tuscany comes in. We do get Stealth Rocks and Poison, but if they go for a Toxic here, then at least we're immune to that. And they've wasted a turn. So let's, let's see how this plays out right now. Earthquake. And that is going to do a little bit of damage to us. Nothing too drastic. However, after leftovers, I'm not sure if we can take another one of those because Poison's going to be playing into effect. So let's see how this plays out real quick. I don't think Earthquake will KO us. I think we live barely. They may have Protect though and they might they might Poison Stall us, which is fine if they do. I want to get a Rapid Spin off big time. Yeah, they go for Protect. I should have gone for my own Stealth Frogs there, but it's whatever. Rapid Spin comes through. Does no damage, obviously. Um, and now, I think the best thing for me to do is to try and go for another Rapid Spin. I think that's the best thing for me to do. Because if they're not invested in speed, we might outspeed them. Let's go for a Rapid Spin and find out. We might outspeed them if they're not defensive, invested in speed. They go for an Earthquake, they do outspeed us, unfortunately, and that's going to KO a Great Tusk. Um, so, Hazards are up to stay. Except from Poison Spikes, we can get rid of those with um, Glorian Sloking. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into I'm going to go straight into my Articuno first and foremost because we do have the heavy duty boots. And that thing can set scare out. This is my Black Ice Articuno. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so let's go for a freeze dry. Freeze dry actually does really well here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for a freeze dry. Articuno does pretty well against the rest of the team to be fair. Freeze dry comes through. They do stay in to try and take it. And take it, they do not, as Articuno claims a soul in Gliscor, which is fantastic. Again, they don't really have the best switch-ins yet. I think their best bet is to go into Arcanine. Max comes in. That is the Arcanine. So, they're not going to expect this. I'm going to go for a Terra Blast Ground. Um, just to get make it so we're neutral to the Flare Blitz. And we're also resistant to the Head Smash. So, depending on which one they go for, we're going to be in a decent position. So, let's go for it now. Terrestrialization into a ground type. Articuno's coming through for us. What a legend. There we go. Now, if this is a flare blitz, there is a good chance that KOs, if they are choice banded. But I don't think they will. They, they don't think they're choice banded. They go for a flare blitz. Does half. And then we go for a terror blast ground. Which is definitely going to KO the Arcanine unless they're sashed. But I don't think they'll be sashed. Yep, down goes the Arcanine. Articuno coming through for us. What an absolute beast. What an absolute legend. Literally. Alright, East. The Weavile comes in. Oh, eyes. Eyes? I don't know. We can still use this for the Great Tusk anyway. So, I want to switch out. Um, if we assume they're going for a knockoff to KO or the Triple Axel. We should go into Volcanion. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, we withdraw. We're going to get poisoned and stealth rocked, but Volcanion's job is to kill this Weavile, basically, at this point. So, we'll go for the flat. We'll go straight for a Fire Blast here. Um, provided they're going to go for a knockoff, which will two shells. But they might not. They might go for a Triple Axel because we're a ground type. They do go for a knockoff, which is going to unfortunately means we get taken out the next turn. Um, but at least we get a free switch in with something else, which is always nice. So, I'll just go for a Fire Blast just in case. They withdraw. Interesting. Great Tusk comes in. That's an interesting switch. I wonder why they've done that. But Fire Blast should definitely do a lot of damage to this thing. Unless it's AB. Yeah, it nearly KO's them. Which is fantastic. But we go down to the poison, unfortunately. Um, which means down it goes Volcanion. But it did, it did good. It weakened the Great Tusk, which is fantastic. Which means that Articuno can now come in and get another KO, which is fantastic as well. So Arc Arc Tracks comes in. The Articuno. Black Ice. We get the pressure on. And um, there's no reason not to go for a Terra Blast, is there? Yeah, we go for a Terra Blast just in case the Weavile comes back in. Close combat, never mind the outspeed us. That's going to KO us, but at least we got a defense drop on them. Not that it matters too much because they were really low on HP anyway. So Articuno did really well this game, which is fantastic. Good to see. But unfortunately, Articuno, even if, if, if that great just didn't outspeed us, it would be great. But the fact that it does means that we couldn't do anything against any of their teams, so... Um, let's go into our Cypher now. Cypher can definitely do some stuff here. So let's go Cypher. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. And I want to go for a dual wing meat. I really do. They are speed proving the scarf, which is really interesting. Um, so I could have gone for a sword dance there, but it doesn't really matter now. Um, as we go for a dual wing meat, which is definitely going to KO the Great Tusk. So choice scarf Great Tusk is pretty cool. I will say. Great Tusk is one of my favorite Pokemon this generation. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. All right, Roaring Moon comes in. That's an interesting choice. So, um, they definitely go for an Acrobatics here or something along those lines. They're going to get a Booster Energy in Attack. Hey, I was right. Yeah, nice. Um, so, right. Right, 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 right. They're probably going to Terra, right? Do we go for a U-turn anyway? I'm going to go for a U-turn anyway. They do Terra, which means we don't live this Acrobatics. It's going to be Terra Flying, no doubt. It's going to be Terra Flying, no doubt, in my mind. Yeah, Terror of Flying. Awesome. So they're going to go for an Acrobatics to Chaos. Or they go for a Dragon Dance. One of the two. Acrobatics. Even better. So what this means is that now we can go into Zeb Striker. And we can go for a Supercell Slam. And that will KO the Weavile as well. If they bring the Weavile in. So now we'll go Zeb Striker. And it looks like Weavile is going to pull this back for them. But we'll still try our best. So we're going to Wild. There we go. Stones do dig in. Poison digs in. Which is unfortunate. 
Um, but what can you do about that? Not a lot, really. We go for a supercell slam here. We should outspeed here. They actually outspeed us. Never mind. I, I thought Zip Strike was faster than it is. But I guess not. So that is unfortunate. So Zip Striker goes down. They've got an attack boost. So there's no way we can live this next hit with Galarian Slowking. But we will try our best. So Slowking comes in. It absorbs the Toxic Spikes, of course. After getting some Self Rock Chip. So Point Spikes dis disappear. Oh, no, wait. We're heavy G boost. Never mind. Um, I guess our best bet is just go for a Sludge Bomb, right? They go for an EQ. So they don't have Knock Off, which is good to know. And we live the Earthquake, which is great. We go for a Sludge Bomb. And boom. No damage. <laughs> that is going to be the game, unfortunately. So Acrobatics comes through. Roaring Moon is able to take out Slow King. And that is the game. So GG Diet 747. That was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed that. It was good. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, and all wonderful stuff. Make sure you use the team as well using the rental code on screen now. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in the next battle.